Okay, everyone, let's get back. Uh, welcome back. Um, in the first chapter and the second chapter, we have talked about um, how to position in your brand, what is your blue ocean strategy. In the second, uh, we I, I have teach you uh, how to use some of the tool or the model to analyze your, your brand and to draw your own blueprints photo. And the third, uh, I, I'll, I'll let you guys um, how to um, execute your brand. What do you mean execute your brand? Because um, brand is not just about a thinking. Brand is, is, is a very big, uh, big effort is about how you execute your brand. So, um, basically, as to, when we talk about the execute, it means a kind of customer service. Um, before you serve your customer, you need to think of three things. First, know the needs behind. Normally, the, the, the customer, they will say something, but normally when they say something, if, if the something is, that is very bad, you have to think of uh, what is the thing that caused your customer to say that. So, know the, 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 know the needs behind is very important. And then, learn how to ask. Um, do something before ask. Uh, if you ask something, then you will know what types of customer and what types of brand, what types of needs that they, they need. So, you can provide them the, good, the, the right and the good things and the service. And build trust with the client, build trust with the customer. So, first, the needs behind. Start everything before listen. So, here, what I want to um, share a story. Um, I used to be a tour guide. And uh, at the time that I have received a family, and uh, a very big family. And the, the, inside, they, they, have, uh, they have a couple. They have, uh, they have the grandparents, which is the, the, the father's parents. And uh, they also have a lots of lots of kids, but um, one day I, I realized something is, is is wrong because you know the the wife is trying to talk talk to me um, a lots of anger and lots of things they, they want to improve, and but those things is not very reasonable. They're not rational. They're they're not rational orders. So I I start to think in that. Um, is a wife who uh, takes uh, her husband's parents and takes their kids to travel, it must be very stressful. It must need to undertake a lot of pressure. So I start to think that um, the reason why 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 did they, why why her have so much needs and so much order and so much complaint. So then I realized that this is the first time they traveling together. They want to make a good impression to uh, her husband's parents. So um, after that, I start to know, realize that the, the real key point is not about her. It's definitely not about her. It's about uh, his uh, parents-in-law. It's about uh, her, her husband's parents. So once I, just, I focus on her husband's parents, everything starts to become clear. You know, uh, she start she stop complaining, and uh, the kids are very happy. And uh, of course, her her, her father's her her, well, her husband's parents are very happy. And so, start everything before listen. If you just you know, if you just um, do something the wife do ask you to do, the complaint will not be stopped. You know, you need to think of the real problem. The needs behind to find the needs behind everything uh it, it must be a reason so you need to find the reason and to solve the problem then you can do everything very smoothly so start everything before listen even though it's start your brain you need to understand your target audience what is the what is the needs they they want they want uh before before they buy a tour, what they are craving for? Some people they just want to, you know, uh, take a lot of photo and post it on the Facebook or Instagram. Then this is their needs behind. And some people who are very stressful at work, they want to relax. 
uh, they want a, a quiet time and need to they, they need to refresh themselves. So this is needs behind. So <clears throat> when you have the different needs, then you have the different needs behind. Then you need to start the different thing. So this is very important. Start everything before listen, and listen the needs behind. So and then second, I want to talk about this the WOMM. What is the WOMM? So it's actually the words of mouth marketing. So when we talk about the word to mouth of mouth marketing, uh, you may think of the people to people and a lot of people. But nowadays is a very good time to do the word of mouth marketing because on internet you don't have to actually meet the people, but you can actually have opportunity to connecting with thousands or hundreds of people, tons of people, with the word of mouth with the words. So the words of mouth nowadays, when you want to build an entirely new brand, which is very important. So, um, but before us we started, I would like to introduce some of the elements that before you want to do the W O M M, you need to focus on. First, it's miracle, and then it's Bibles, and then it's ceremonies, churches, missionaries. So let's get back. So. Um, the first, when you want to build a words of mouth marketing system, one thing very ha very important is a big dream. You must to have a big dream with the miracles, so people will know what to talk about and how to talk about. If your dream or your project or your plan is very mediocre, is very normal, is very standard, that other people they have prob trouble to you know find something special on you. So first, create a topics create a big dream create a miracle so in this section we talks about WOAM we I want to take the church for example so uh, actually there's church they are doing a very good job at the words of mouth marketing you know church is probably the, 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 the best brand in the world you know because they create a story the story will have miracle like Jesus the story of Jesus, like the miracle, is a big dream. Who want to who want to serve the people, who want to take care of the people, who want to make the world a different places. So this is a very big dream because the big dream can lead the people and lead the customer to think of to to let them start to dreaming. What what is the lifestyle they want to do? What is the lifestyle they want to have? What is the life they want to live with every day? So create a big miracle and create a big dream, which is very important and also play a very important role in the words of mouth marketing and then second bibles uh, when you when we talk about the words of mouth marketing the the bible is very important we, we are not actually talks about the real bible we are talks about the brand and the product guideline because you if when you don't have bible then your customer and your fans don't how they don't know how to pass it you know when they have to transfer your idea and your brain to other people, they you have they have to to hold something that they can pass. So the Bible is the uh, is actually meaning the the maybe is a words, maybe is a video, maybe is a I don't know maybe is an advertisement, maybe is a new product. You must to have a Bible so that your customer and your target audience. They will know how to promoting the things with you and how to help you to promote to other people. And then ceremony. So what what do you mean ceremony? A uh, ceremony is a is a is a first step when you want to believe in something. So ceremony will also help the customer and your target audience to lead them to to the next level of your experience and your service. For example. My company, um, every in in the beginning of every tour, the the tour guide will have the ceremony. Maybe it's a card, maybe it's a uh, it's a meditation section, but anyway, we will all we will all set up a ceremony that um, help the clients and target audience to to get into the situation, so that they will feel like. This product and this service and this tour is entirely different than other people and other service and other tour. So ceremony also play a very important role 
in the words of mom marketing and then church um, as a as a brand you need a platform to transfer your brand in the past we used the real thing like the church you need a building so that people can actually communicate with each other talks about the brand talks about it every day talks about everything talks about their life in the real property in the building but nowadays we have internet you don't have to build a church you can use a very low uh, cost to create your, your own platform for example uh, Facebook the Facebook club or Instagram or face Instagram stories or Facebook messenger or other social media or a blog you know tons of tons of hundreds of platform that you can use without fee you know you can use those those resource for free so when you when we talk about the world of marketing the church also play a very important role because you know let's recap for a little bit first is a product and a miracle and then second is the bible so you have to you have to write down in something and the people will know how to pass to the other people and you have to you have to have the ceremony the certain ceremony so that people will know uh you you are, you can lead the customer and the audience to a, to a different level to the next level so they can know that your product to the and other product is a different thing so um the miracle and bible and the ceremony and then it's church when we experience those things your your target audience and your people they need to discuss with each other they need to talk to each other you know they, they need a place to share their life they are not buying your product every day but they're living their life every day so maybe you can use your product to combine with your life and create a platform that um, your target audience and your customer can communicate with the other customer in the same platform every day and maybe five or five years later later on they become your fans they become part of your family they become part of your part of your system so church is very play a very important role in the church in the, the, the any religion the temple the church are very important because this is a place that people will come for a prayer come for a sending messenger or come to communicate with other other people who also believe in it so church is also very important church is like the platform it's like the internet it's like the social network it's like the app it can be anything it can be a blog or i don't know the messenger a club an online club as long as your target audience and your customer can reach it and they can communicate and share their life every day in the property and the platform then it can be a very good example to setting a church so nowadays it's very easy you don't need a church first of all you need a website which website is like your church and then you need the, the Facebook club you know Facebook club is like you, you're not going to the church every day you're going to the church once a week but you you were back home you were you were past the park you're going to the company every day so Facebook is like this they they don't they don't actually go go to your go on your website every day but they will check their Facebook Instagram accounts every day so this is like this um, you need to play a very important role on their life so they can remember so when they remember they, they can have the certain image of your brand when you have the brand uh, they can know how to promote your brand to other people and the words of mouth marketing system is for so the next missionary I'll say the missionary is the very important is the most important element of the words of mouth marketing because if you don't have the missionary then your thing and your brand have no one to help you to promote it so uh, what is a missionary you 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 what is a mission you're not the the church you know what 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 why do you need missionary but in here the missionary we talks about is something like the user your target audience your customer your fans your parents your friends and family you know everyone can be a missionary to help you to express 
and um, to promoting your brand. So, which is very important because if you don't have any missionaries, your story have not spread. Your your story, no one can help your brand and your story to do the promoting. So let's recap for a little bit. We need to start everything before listening. Um, when you build a product, when you set up the marketplace, when you decide which which part of the target audience you want to get in, you need to listen first. Listen yourself, listen to the customer, decide your strategy, and then start everything before listen. And then you need a Bible. Sorry, you need a miracle. If you don't have the miracle, you don't have big dream. If you don't have big dream, um, you, you're not getting anyone's attention. If you don't get anyone's attention, then your brand have no chance and opportunity to let other people to see. So first, do something big. Go big or go home. You know, uh, do create a miracle or create a very big dream or create a very deep story. So, so that other people will get attention from you. So, and the next step, you need a Bible. Uh, what do you mean Bible? I like I just mentioned. Uh, you need something that people can use it to pass. Maybe your Bible can be a video. Maybe your Bible can be a brochure. Maybe your Bible can be a website. I don't care. But the reason why you need the Bible is to help your client and your fans, your, your user, to promoting your brand. You see, on the street, you will see you will met a lot of missionary. Every missionary, they were holding a Bible. And when they're they telling you a story, they will use their Bible to tell you. So, same thing, same idea, same concept. You need a miracle, you need a Bible. And then ceremony. Ceremony and body language, uh, that makes the, the entire experience different. That makes you your, your product stand out. You know, uh, if you don't have the ceremony to, to tell the, the customer transaction, to tell you that this is something different, this is why we are doing the ceremony right now. The tour or the product or any, any product, they're not just, you know, you just not open it and use it. You know, it must have a lot of ceremony, like, Maybe it's a card, maybe it's a, um, it's a body language, maybe it's a ritual, ceremony. Anyway, you need a ceremony to let your customer and your targets know that your product and your service is not just like the others, not just like your competitors. It's different, it's different so it needs the ceremonies. And then you need a place, you need a platform to to um to let your fans, your target audience, your customer, um to talk about their lives every day, you need to, you need a place to get gathering everyone together, to let your customer know that you are not just have one fans, you have a lot of fans, you have you have tons of fans. But in your, in order to do that, you have to have a church. We are not actually talking talking about a church. It can be a blog, it can be a social media, it can be a messenger, any platform by any by any way and then you need missionary missionary would be probably the most important role during the the, the WOMM the words of mouth marketing because if you don't have missionary there's no one can help you to promoting your brand when no one can promoting your brand then the things that we have talked about is useless you know it's nonsense because no one see it. If you have very good product, you have very good strategy, you find your own blue ocean strategy, then you need someone to help you to do the promotion. But nowadays, you have a lot of choices. You know, uh, in the past, if you want to uh, to reach the other people, maybe you need to you need to expand the new store, the, the real store. But right now, you don't have to do that. You you just need to maybe. Um, pay more advertisement fee or you need to um, post some messenger or some message to the Facebook club or anything or you can just you know use your fan use a user use a customer so they can invite their friends and family to use your product and to use the service so um, missionary plays a very important role so 
words of mouth marketing is uh, I, I'll, I'll say is probably the, the, the most essential element of the uh, tourism brand management when you need to brand management do the management uh, you can also set up a strategy but how to execute your brand is very important so when you execute your brand another thing which is last thing to exploit and to let other people know your product and service so words of mouth marketing very important so uh, right now I would like to um, show you guys a video um, the video is talking about the, the Asian travel which is my brand and uh, what we are doing and you know the video is like our Bible when you if when you see the video and when you like actually like the video then you will pass it, you send it to your friends and family so they can understand our brand, they will get interested in our brand. When they get interested in our brand, they will see through our website, they will see our product, they will see our tool, they will start to considering. Oh, next time when they want to travel, they want to go with the tour, they, they, they will think of, isn't travel sounds great, you know, I saw their video, their video is good. So this is like, this is like the thing we are talk, talks about, the words of mouth marketing. And what is what, what is my missionary? My missionary is the customer I have served before. So words of mouth marketing, very important things. So we can take a look of the video first, and then you will, you will start to know that uh, what is the what what is the, the things that uh, the Asian travel do. In your eyes, you see what Vietnam is. 走在充斥着摩托车和各类交通工具的街道上拉着当地人的重击在山区奔驰one line, one sentence to give you guys. Don't sell product, sell lifestyle. When you sell the product, people will will compete with others. Like when you sell a hotel, people will compete with other hotel. Why are you selling so so expensive? And if you're selling a car, they will compete with the with the other car company. Why are your car is so expensive? So don't sell the real product, sell your lifestyle. I'm not I'm not saying that you, you don't you don't have the actual product and you oh you tell people you sell lifestyle. It's not that. It's like the product is just a is just a linking between between your clients and give them the new lifestyle. So um, lifestyle is valuable, it's like art. It's like the circus, the sun circus we have talked about in the chapter first. They're not actually selling the performance, they're selling the mindset of art. So, like the tourism, tourism is a very generic brand. Um, it's very hard for people to, you know, to develop the unique product, to, to have the unique skill. But as a generic, generic brand, the good thing is that everyone will use it. Everyone will have opportunity to serve them. But... Um, you need to rethink of your product, rethink your marketplace, rethink your target audience. And the last thing, don't sell product, sell your lifestyle. So that people will think your product is very valuable, you're not competing with the other's competitors. <laughs>